It's just a little thing. Well, we think it's simply marvelous that you're having this baby out of wedlock. <laughs> Some of our friends are less open-minded, which is why we've told them all you're married. What? what? Thanks for going along with this. <laughs> what? Dad, what, we have to pretend that we're married? Son, I had to shave my ears for tonight. You can do this. <laughs> can you believe that? I know. If you're going to do the ears, you may as well take a pass at the nozzle area. No, no. I don't want to lie about us being married. Oh, no, I know. I don't either. But you know what? It's their party, and it's one night, and, and we don't even have to lie. We just won't say anything. If it comes up again, we'll just we'll smile. We'll nod along. Ross. Rachel. Hi, Aunt Lisa. Hi. Uncle Dan. Oh. Hi. Congratulations yeah. on the baby. Oh. And on the wedding. No. Mm. Mm. There's a little something to get you started. Oh. Hmm? So how's married life treating you? Unbelievable. Love <laughs> open it, open it, open it. <laughs> yeah, baby. So we never got to hear about your wedding. Oh. We were surprised we weren't invited. Oh, no, no, no. It was just, it was just our parents and one or two friends. It was a small wedding. Yeah, but it was beautiful. I mean, it was small, but kind of spectacular. <laughs> Where did you have it? On a cliff in Barbados at sunset. And Stevie Wonder saying, isn't she lovely as I walk down the aisle? <laughs> really? Yeah, Stevie's an old family friend. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. I'd love to see pictures. Just, so would I. <laughs> you wouldn't think that Andy Leibovitz would forget to put film in the camera. <laughs> would, you, would you excuse us for a second? Um, what are you doing? What? I'm not you. This may be the only wedding I ever have. <laughs> I want it to be amazing. OK, OK. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I rode in on a Harley. Okay, Ross, it has to be realistic. <laughs> and my, my veil was lace, made by blind Belgian nuns. Blind? Well, not at first, but it was very intricate work. And they said, even though they lost their sight, it was all worth it. Oh, I bet you looked beautiful. Oh, well, I, I don't know about that. But there were some people that said I looked like a floating angel. <laughs> How did you propose? Oh, yeah, that's a great story. <laughs> well, um, actually, I, I took her to the planetarium. That's, that's where we had our first date. Um, she walked in, and I had the room filled with uh, lilies, her favorite flower. <gasps> that is so sweet. Shh, I want to hear the rest. <laughs> <laughs> then Fred Astaire singing um, The Way You Look Tonight came on the sound system, and the lights came down. And I, I got on one knee, and written across the dome in the stars were the words, Will you marry me? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And the ring was the size of my fist. <laughs> and then we could have gone from the ceremony to the reception with you in the sidecar. Ross, it just wouldn't have been feasible. But having a dove place the ring on your finger would have been no problem. It was really fun being married to you tonight. Yeah, and, and it was the easiest 400 bucks I ever made. <laughs> okay, Ross, can I, um... Can I ask you something? Yeah. That proposal at the planetarium? I know, I know. It was so stupid. Are you kidding? With the with the lilies and the and the song and the stars? It was it was really wonderful. You just make that up? Uh no, actually I thought about it when, when we were going out. It's how I imagined I uh I would ask you to marry me. Wow. Oh, that would have been, uh, that would have been very hard to say no to. Well, it's a good thing I didn't do it, because it sounds like it would have been a very expensive wedding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good night. Good night. Uh, even if the sidecar had a, had a windscreen so your hair wouldn't get messed up? I will think about that's it. That's all I'm asking. 